Are you a renter right now that's considering buying a house, but maybe you're unsure of what to do with interest rates? It's Mike Novak from the Novak Real Estate Team, part of Real Brokerage, and rates have unquestionably gone up this year. Rates started around 2.75% back in January, and they're into the high sixes, low sevens as of the shooting of this video. So yes, rates have gone up, but what, you're maybe not hearing or not seeing in the news is that prices, while they're not going down, they're not rapidly escalating like they were before. So gone are the days of seeing 20 offers on most listings, price escalations of 10 or 20% above list price. We're seeing homes bought for 98 to 100% of list price right now and with good terms for the buyer where there's some seller concessions, you can do an inspection, you don't have to waive the appraisal, things like that. So it's a great time to take a look at the market. And I talk to a lot of people about buying and oftentimes what I hear from renters right now is that rates are too high to buy a house. I wanna remind you the next time that you write out that check to your landlord, when you are renting a home, you're paying 100% interest. So any interest rate you get right now on a house is going to be better than what you're currently paying in rent. Listen, inflation has gone up 9% annualized. That means your rent is gonna to continue to soar. When you get into a home, you no longer have that price flexibility on your payment. It's fixed, right? You get a 30-year mortgage and your monthly payment's gonna be the same. It's not gonna be subject to the inflation that we're seeing right now that you're gonna feel as a renter and continue to feel until it flattens out, which who knows when that's going to happen. So right now, you can get a great home for a reasonable price and you can you gotta remember that you can refinance the rate, but you cannot refinance the price you pay for the home. Home prices have gone up 7% year over year. So they're still going up, guys. They have not dropped like so many people have said. If they do, I will be the first person to let you know. But right now, as of the shooting of this video, prices are still up 7% from the same time last year. And if rates drop after the beginning of the year, you're going to see a floodgate of buyers jump back into the market. And it's gonna be just like it was back in January, February of this year, where there's 20 offers on every listing and they go 150,000 over list price. So take advantage of this market. You can always refinance your rate if they drop, but you cannot refinance that price you pay. And like I said, prices are up 7% year over year. They're gonna be up three or 4% more by the springtime. So get off the fence, talk to a loan officer. If you need a connection, let me know. I'm happy to connect you with Premier Mortgage, the lender that our team works so closely with. But talk to them and understand what would your monthly payment be at different purchase prices and see if you'd find a home that would meet your needs at that payment. Just keep in mind, you can always refinance the rate. I can't stress that enough. And as a renter, don't forget you're paying 100% interest right now. It's Mike Novak from the Novak Real Estate Team. Reach out to me direct if I can help you with this.